My name is Sari Sulkunen and I work at the University of Jyväskylä. I work as a senior lecturer and a researcher and my area of expertise in research is reading literacy or literacy in a wider, wider sense. And I've been working quite a long time with international reading literacy assessments such as PISA and PIAC that I know you have been told about. Um, and based on, for instance, PIAC study which focuses on adults uh, at the age of 16 to 65, we know that in all the countries that have participated in this study, there are quite a lot of adults at this age range that struggle with reading. Uh, for instance, in Finland, we have approximately 11% of the adult population uh, at working age, aged 16 and 65, uh, who struggle with reading and we have to remember that in these studies reading relates to reading written texts and basically these 11 percent in the Finnish context for, for example uh, they can read relatively short and clearly written texts preferably of a familiar topic to the readers. Well we could also think about this modern textual environment and we might ask well, why do we need uh, written texts? Do we have to know how to read written texts any longer? Since we have all kinds of other uh, resources for meaning making, we can, uh, we can watch videos, for instance, if I want to, let's say, change the battery for my smartphone myself, then I can just go to the YouTube and see an instructional video. Or if I want to, uh, let's say, hear about somebody's experiences in different countries, cultures, or something like that, I can see a blog, which basically is, is a video-based blog. Uh, and that's fine. I mean, in many contexts, we can actually choose what kind of textual resources, written text or other types of uh, meaning-making resources we use. Uh, but we cannot always choose that. There are many different situations in everyday life where we actually do need quite solid literacy skills uh, in terms of reading, sometimes also writing written texts. For example, living in Finland, basically everyone living in Finland, at, at least at adult age, needs to deal with banking, needs to deal with tax authorities, and also uh, Kela, basically, meaning the uh, social uh, authorities, and, and uh, deal with things related to social uh, benefits or also employment and employment benefits. And most of these uh, authorities offer their services primarily in online setting nowadays. Basically it means that we have to uh, take care of these issues that we used to go to the office and we used to see a person who would help us. Now we have to do it ourselves. And it means that we have to deal with rather complex uh, issues and read the instructions online, how do we fill in this form and how do we apply for that and that uh, benefit, for example. And these are very heavily uh, situations that rely on written text and also require quite demanding skills in terms of reading, sometimes also in terms of writing, because we have to fill in forms we also may have to use the little chat window, there's always chat window, there's somebody asking if I need any assistance, let's say, filling in that form or that form. Uh, and even in that case, we have to write what our problem or challenge it is in the situation. So therefore, the uh, situations dealing, and the, and the things we have to do when we deal with written text, they are rather demanding. And we are talking about issues that are necessary in a society, for instance, like Finland. We have to take care of banking and tax issues and so on. Uh, so therefore, it is really vital and necessary that we do have solid literacy skills in terms of re reading written text too. Then, of course, uh, we also know, based on PIAC study, for instance, that there are certain groups of adults that are more disadvantaged than others in terms of literacy skills. For instance, in the older adult groups, also among the low, low educated adults, 
and sometimes also among adults who speak another language than the language of the country originally, uh, there are, let's say, more adults who struggle with written text than in other adult groups. However, it doesn't mean that there's nothing we can do. I mean, it's not always possible, for instance, to, to go back to school and start a new education and so on, where also our literacy skills would improve, most likely. But everyone can do a lot in their own everyday life. And there are basically at least two things we can all do. We can, for instance, uh, just read. I mean, reading and literacy skills, they are like any other skills. We need to practice, and that's the only way to become fluent reader, reader of a written text, that we practice. So we take up reading tasks, we start reading texts, even when it doesn't feel very uh, nice or easy, it might be actually very de demanding sometimes, but we can start with texts that are rather short and maybe easy in terms of structure and language, and maybe deal with a familiar topic, and then we gradually go towards more demanding texts. And we can also, uh, with the more demanding texts, we can get some help from family members and friends and so on, and then gradually become more fluent and confident with these texts. And also we can read diverse uh, selection of texts. We don't have to uh, keep reading the similar kind of genres or types of texts all the time. We can, we can broaden our textual world or landscape by, by reading new types of uh, texts. And then also we get more familiar with different genres and it also helps us to become more fluent in reading. So I think it's a very good idea for us all to develop our reading skills by just being courageous and start reading more uh, demanding and unfamiliar texts too. And then I think it feels very good when we accomplish that by, by ourselves.